This is Las Vegas Real Estate Now, where we bring you the three E's, educate, empower, and engage. I'm your host, Harvey Blankfeld, along with our co-host, Shelly Brown, and we've been selling homes here in Southern Nevada since 1988. Shelly and I are also very proud to be part of the Real Estate Radio Network. That is a national network of local real estate professionals delivering timely, balanced truths about local market conditions. With Shelly and I in studio, we have uh, two experts from Pulte Homes. We have Brandon Lauder, who's the Vice President of Construction, and we have Wayne Newmiller, who's the Director of Procurement. Welcome, gentlemen. Thank you. One of the things that I've always been impressed with uh, with uh, Pulte, Wayne, is, is, is their emphasis on energy and, and energy conservation and the way you guys build a home. Uh, you, I know you guys are energy star rated. What is that? How do you do that? What's, what's the process? What product do you use to make yourself so strong in that area? Well, it, it's a number of products, and, and I appreciate you, you know, mentioning that. We are very proud of it, and we've done it for a long time. Uh, since all the way back to 1998, we've been working on energy efficiency, so uh, before we were interested in Energy Star or any of those things. But we look at the house as a whole system, um, which is primarily what you need to do to accomplish that. And air conditioning being a very important element here in Las Vegas, I think that's one of the things that we all focus on when we talk about, we talk about energy, because we all see how our electric bills go up in the summer. But I know that Pulte's does a, a wonderful job of in, not only uh, using the proper equipment to air condition, but to insulate it as well, as you were talking about. Absolutely. We do a, a cocoon system, and again, have since since about early 2000s, 1998, we started in a community testing. Uh, and in early, probably right around 2000, we started doing it in every home we built in Las Vegas. Um, so we, we cathedralized our insulation, so the uh, air barrier and the thermal barrier is actually on the upper envelope of the, of the roof which keeps your attic temperature from rising way up and, and proves to be very efficient. The other very uh, strong proponent of that is all of your duct work is within the conditioned envelope of the house. Right. So your system's working in a controlled environment instead of out in the hot sun. Our installation gets installed during the build process where we can actually tack to the top core of the truss. The netting's there, it gets inspected before drywall or anything goes on, so we actually can see that the insulation is fully covered on, on the ceiling. What we're doing is we're fighting the heat right at the front line. Right. So instead of letting the attic get up to 150 and then fighting it with 12 inches of cellulose that's loosely blown on top of the drywall, we're actually fighting it right at the front line in a what we call a six-sided assembly right at the roof line where you know you have your two by fours, your roof sheet, and then your tile, we're right there with it. One of the other things you guys do, uh, I know with regard to air conditioning and stuff, is, is I call them jump ducts. I don't know if that's what you guys call them. Yeah, that's them. proper terminology. Is that right, jump ducts? And I saw, I saw them first in your home, uh, and, and I thought it was a brilliant idea. So you can actually close the bedroom door Right. And the air still flows through a duct from the bedroom to the hallway, so the door's not going to slam, and the air is going to be equalized between those two rooms, so you don't have to worry about the te dramatic temperature changes or anything right. of that nature. Another another thing these days has been hot water, and you guys right. are getting different type of hot water systems now, right? We're we using do. all tankless water heaters now. All tankless. Yep. Excellent. And so the idea behind that is that you're not you're not heating a big pot of water in the in the garage. Correct. You know, you just get the water when you need it. Correct. That's More correct. On demand. Yeah. In addition to that, we also so not only do we do tankless in every one of our homes, but we also use a hot hot water home run strategy okay. uh, for water conservation efforts. So we shoot for the standard that uh, Southern Nevada Water Authority has with their smart water system, which is for a half gallon uh, at, at any faucet in the house, a half gallon of water before you get the hot water. Coming right off of our tankless water heater, we go into a manifold and then we branch off into half inch home runs and that home run will go all the way to the destination. Um, normally, you'd see a, a plumber run a branch and tee because that's a less expensive right. way to go. Right. And you'd have maybe a three-quarter inch or possibly even a one-inch line running through the house and then a half-inch line teeing off. Right. Well, if you start thinking about the volume of water that's in that pipe, by the time it gets there, you could have a gallon or a gallon and a half of hot water before you get that hot water delivery versus a half gallon. You've been listening to Las Vegas Real Estate Now with hosts Harvey Blankfeld and Shelley Brown. Please tune in every Saturday at 11 a.m. right here on News Talk 720 KDWN.